Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. I'm Dr. Hasina. I was working in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia for the last 13 years in Ministry of Health. And uh, I lost my job from Francis Nora University. And I lost everything that I was really heartbroken. But by the persistence and the patience, and I used to uh, make dhikr all the time, even when I'm in the market. I have heard that market is the place where we forget everything. But when I uh, was selecting my vegetables or fruits, I used to remember Allah. Alhamdulillah, even without my job, I could come here and provide my family. Alhamdulillah. And the persistence and the patience, it made me get another better job in Ministry of Health. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. And I served for three years in Saudi Arabia, the capital, Riyadh, and in a tertiary center as a specialist. I'm proud of that. Again, I lost my job. Now I'm here in Dubai with another heartbreak, and I'm really, really desperate now. But still, I'm hopeful. I am hopeful in His mercy, and I am sure that I will achieve my dream in this blessed city. Inshallah. Mashallah, mashallah. Amin, amin, amin. And one more thing is that please. May Allah, Allah bless please. you and grant yeah. you better yeah. than what He took away from you. And uh, that's a dua you. of and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I yeah. really believe that Allah will bestow upon you much better than what yes. He took away from you. Yes, so, and one more, thing, one more thing. Uh, yes. One more thing. That is uh, Surah Al Duha. Duha, it is making me powerful. Please make others also uh, recite this and make it in their habit of reciting this and understanding it. Thank you. MashaAllah, you heard it, my brothers, my sisters. I want to tell you something. She, yes, she spoke about patience and she spoke about a heartbreak more than once and distress and desperation. And when you think, wow, what's going to happen? I just lost my job. I have bills to pay. I have monthly installments to pay and so on. Wallahi, all of that is going to is going to manage itself. You may have to adjust in a big way. Don't be ashamed or shy to adjust your life at a time when you're struggling financially because if Allah bestowed upon you a certain level and you were living on it, there might come a time when He wants to see if you're ready to downgrade because He wants you to downgrade. If you're too proud to downgrade, you're going to suffer. You can downgrade. We're happy. Allah took away what He gave us. It's okay. We downgraded. And guess what? A few years later, we upgraded beyond the point we were at the beginning. So Alhamdulillah, may Allah help you. And